Step into the enigmatic embrace of this ancient French chateau, shrouded in mysteries that weave through the tapestries of time, tracing its origins to the 15th or 16th century. Within its walls, valuable family history has remained in its chambers. Delving into its rooms reveals the life of Mr. Alexis Bego, who once presided over this grand edifice. At a mere age of 20 years old, Alexis embarked on global odysseys and state service, braving the Crimean War and defying odds even after losing both of his legs. His seafaring prowess earned him the title of sea captain and accolades as Knight of the Legion of Honor. Remarkably, he graced this world for 104 years until 1928, when he passed away. Upon his passing, his 11 children inherited the chateau, yet evidence suggests it lay largely untouched, preserving its vivid past. An ancient letter dated 1821 predates Alexis's birth, entwining deeper the castle's enigma. Throughout, vestiges of a German connection linger, whether born of familial ties or the scars of conflict. Join us as we tread the halls of this historical haven, uncovering every hidden tale and forgotten corner. When we filmed this place, we used new microphones for the first time, using the wrong settings. Due to this, the audio turned to be corrupted. Given this place is now alarmed, it is impossible to revisit this place. Yet, we still wanted to share this place with you. We provided the video with captions to enhance the viewer's experience. Our apologies for the inconvenience. Today we have a beautiful place in France again to show you and first instance we think it actually belongs to a German family, right? Yeah, yeah, we can see many many German relatives out here, so definitely definitely belong to Germans. Uh, we're not alone, we're also accompanied by our friend Desmond from Dutch Urbex Explorations who's accompanying us today on this explore, so make sure to check his channel out too. Uh, yeah. Before it's really dark today, let's explore this place right now. Yeah. We don't know a lot yet, but we're gonna find out more probably after our exploration. Right now it's just time to explore and dig into the beautiful history inside this abandoned manor. Yeah, so let's go man. Let's go. So we're gonna start this exploration in the main hallway where the people once used to come inside every day. Yep, and as you can see, there's so much stuff left over here. It's like 
dumped all over the place. All over the place, from tools to a walking cane, umbrella, and even a lot of clothes on the ground. Yeah, over there. Another Kundi radio, a very big one. Oh yeah. There is so much to point out. Building over Castle. Wondering, it's probably nearby somewhere. All these tools. Looks like they were working here and eventually they just left it like this. Yeah. Oh, what are those? Oh, oh, those are all encyclopedias. You can tell it's written in German, encyclopedie. Yeah. So, yeah, they were definitely German relatives that used to live here. Uh, and look on top of it, this kind of gondola. Damn. You can see a bicycle over here, right next to the front door. And what is this? It's a bicycle from Peugeot. Really? <laughs> Never knew they made bicycles. Oh, it's, it's like a sun protector. A this is sunscreen. Sunscreen, right? From yeah. the garden. How about the Moscow there. Oh yeah, that's quite airy. <laughs> I can definitely tell that there used to be a family. It's from Michael there. Myers, right? Yeah, from Michael Myers. I can tell that there was a family living in there once. So actually, we're exploring a chateau right now, because there's also a, a tower, and you can already see the architecture over there. It's like a spiral. We're gonna explore the upstairs later. I'm curious how that's gonna be. Yeah. For now, let's just explore the first floor. Because there is a lot to see over here. A lot. little ornament over here. Oh, a lot of them out there. But over here is just mainly, I need to see, equipment. Like. Yeah, they dumped a lot over here. Again, a lot of tools in those rows. Yeah, it's just many tools, man. So, it's quite hard to have an overlook. Maybe a little bit of cabin over there. There's the closet. Well, it's actually the closet, and there's uh, the body warmers. I think it was for hunting. Oh, yeah. With the green color. Where is a plate? It says thank you in French, merci. And it's dating from 1988. You can also see all the moldware already on the wallpaper. Yeah, loads of white mold. And look, this is actually a hat from uh, Quebec, Quebec in Canada. Uh, Canada, the French part of Canada. So we have a name over here. Pinoch too. Hmm. It doesn't Nesto. Nesto. That doesn't sound quite German. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was French German. Okay. So we're from the entrance hall to Yep. Over there comes the interesting one. Wow. Look at this room. It's so beautiful. And that for a small place like this. Well, small, yeah, it was a chateau. If you see it from the outside, the exterior, it has towers and everything. It does, it does. That is a wreck player. Crystal light claws over here. Oh, the crystal wear is still inside. Oh, yeah, on top we also have things from Austria. Maybe that person, the old lady indeed. And all the walls are actually wood. Look at the woodwork, how intricate it is, but also how mold is just taking over on it, the white mold. Wow. All those tiny artifacts. Oh, that's just porcelain. What is wrong? Wow, it's beautiful, this little plate. I thought it was from copper, but... What is written on the other side? Alfonso Fusi Amalfi Tickermont. Probably the man who made it. Look at the Austria. And the chat go. Also 
German. Yeah, there are so many German like signs over here, I would say. I'm gonna have a look at this massive fireplace. Massive fireplace. Wow. That is truly beautiful. It's unbelievable, right? It's a massive one, like you say. <laughs> Mostly Emily over there. Maybe even the family go to bars. <laughs> Look. Middle of the table we have another sign of evidence that they were definitely German. It's a German flag. We also have old portraits over there. Look at that. family definitely has a lot of history and all those different family generations that went back probably this was a pretty noble class family that once lived there yeah definitely wow so, what is it again oh this is actually uh I believe a bed warming pan because you see how long it is. So they put hot coals inside of here in this pan of pots, and they could actually put it right down under the beds. Have you seen this? Yeah, the emblem is the eagle, right? From Germany. The China wire over there. I really like that one. The details looks pretty modern, actually. Yeah, some modern art. Slons is over here. Was like Maybe it was the great grandfather of the family. What do we have on the desk over here? Is a VHS player? Little stamp over here. There's even a pipe. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice it. Because of the tape. Oh, the bad tape on it. <laughs> well, then maybe first uh, head down to the kitchen, I think. Yeah, let's first go to the kitchen. You got the kitchen over here. And on the left hand side. It's a very messy kitchen, as you can tell. Already very quiet, I think. Just stealth modes. <laughs> wow, so. Things with that as well. Yeah. The chaussure, Fonse, the muse. The hunter, the French hunter. The French hunter. Schwarzwald Klinik. Everything in this kitchen is nice, especially like the tiles over there. Yeah, they have a very Germanish style, don't you think so? Yeah, well. I find, I don't know if it's really German. The woodwork makes me look like this is a German style mm -hmm. castle, you know? Tiles could also be very Dutch. Yeah, Dutch. Well, wow. looks at the drawers, everything's left behind. So all the other kitchen amenities are still there. All the pots right over here. Probably where they would do spices and everything inside. Uh, look how moly it is. It's actually couscous. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, wood warmer is definitely 
done his job over here on this candidate. There is also definitely food rotten because there were a lot of flies over here inside. And then from the living room, we continue away to another part. And it's beautiful because we made with curtains and everything. That for the first person is very beautiful. Look at that. The lamp over there that's matching the color of the curtains. Where this was definitely a liquor cabinet. Look what's written over here. Their butt shafter, their Bundesrepublik Deutschland. <laughs> they were very patriotic about their country. Yeah. That's one thing for sure. They really love the German relatives. <laughs> their German origin, their roots. Purse. What is this thing over here? It's more interesting to me. It's a purse. Part of a clock, I think, right? Yeah. Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. <laughs> it's, it's, it's from a clock. I, I, I like this quote. Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, the house looks in precisely beautiful desk over here. We will go out and find something very interesting. Where is a newspaper from? 1990. 1990. Look over here, Oh, we have again the picture of the man. Yeah. Look at that. Alexis Bego, captain, has died on 24th of July 1928 on her 104th anniversary. Oh my gosh, I was written nowhere. Oh, this is a national order of a medal of honor. And it's for Alexis. And I think this person over here in the frame is Alexis, the great grandfather who has fought during a war. What war is it actually? 1928? Yeah, it's 1925. Maybe a civil war? Civil first, so war, the first world war? First World War could be good, be, man. I think it's First World War. Yeah. Wow, well, look at this fireplace as well. The stone work and everything. We have some Portuguese Vino Tinto over here. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Yeah. All the artwork inside this place and all the items that are just left behind and. No one seems to be looking after them. No, absolutely not. Well, what's inside of there? Well, I'm quite curious because it says Reich Geld. I think just over here it says AF Radios Clinic. I think it's all the artifacts. No, those are x rays. From radiology, I'm saying radio is correct. I should give the light to you actually. I think it's the spinal cord that we see together with the pelvis, but the people cannot really see it right now. Look at that. It's indeed the spinal cord with the pelvis. I'm not sure if I can see where the problem is actually coming from, but no, not really.
is the last room on this floor, right? Yep, this is the last room of this floor. Oh, by the way, have you seen the club over there? It's actually also open and there are some things laying in it. It's a typical French clock, right? Yeah, it's three. But just the wooden, the wooden, it's like, it's, that's German, Germanish. So what's actually in this room? They yeah, was already looking at it, but what is this? I think they're used to lay something inside, some decoration or something. Yeah. I don't know. So, next. Like a storage storage. Room, yeah. A lot of books. Look at this. Even a camcorder fresh in a package. What is this device over here? It's a TV player. So you could really just plug things in over here. So no, like over a here. portable TV or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a very little screen. <laughs> no, they were happy with it. anything like that, no? Yeah, I bet. There were no uh, 20 inch. Uh, What's this? Like a flag, right? German. Oh, with the eagle indeed. <laughs> Comes back everywhere. The Deutsche Adler. Everything written in German. So Year, Wagen, Fasantobo, Michel, Kuralaika. It's also crazy to see how the nature over there is just growing inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place is definitely being taken over by nature. And, uh, well, some more German artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, honestly, I think. It's just storage over here, man. Yeah. Then let's go to the next floor. Yep, let's go upstairs to the last floor. Then it's time to go to the staircase and see where we can go, I believe. We can not only go upstairs, but we can also go downstairs. We have some stuff for cleaning over here. Some books over there. Yeah, this is going to the basement. Look at that. Wow. So much tools. The person that left her, the, the German family, they definitely had a handyman in the family. Oh yeah. They used to do everything by themselves. All the crafty work and jobs. Look how many tools there are. All just completely rusty, but they were pretty organized. Everything over there in those compartments. It's quite narrow, actually. Oh, look, there is even still a washer over here. <laughs> Looks very like a factory washer or something. Yeah, it's very old fashioned. What's this? That's all for tools. Oh, is this like a vault? No, it's a vault, right? Sorry? It's a stove. Or is it a vault? No, it's a vault. Yeah. It's a safe. Also three buttons and a keyhole. It's freaking crazy. So those beds over here. Have a game. It even looks like a part of a furnace, right? Yep, it does. You can see that ceiling is uh, rotting, moldy and coming down. We haven't checked the electricity, but no, that's not running. Work. No. Pretty large basement. Yeah, it is, right? 
fucking much to it. There are so many wooden parts. Like they were working on something with wood. What is written over here? Christopher. Maybe name of a family or a company. That they want. And what is these are all jars, like like the close of jars. Can you grab those uh, boats? Those are leg protheses. Yep. What the heck? And there was another one too. Well, there are four actually. My gosh. Look how moldy they are. That's crazy. Good eye for detail. I haven't even spotted them between all those chairs. That there was a luckless man. I was okay. like, why is Raymond cursing? But yeah, that's a pretty shocking find. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I think there was only one room left in the basement on the left side. Let's see. have a little wine cellar over there with some wines. Alright, well, I think over here also the pots and the pans. And the canned food products. Canned food. Should be good. Right? So many shoes as well. Yeah. A shoe basement. Oh look, those are balls for a game of Chez de Poule, a French game. game. It's a typical French game. That's fallen down from a plank, right? Yeah, yeah. This actually used to Hang stand on. there in the in the air. They also, still has some food products over there in the corner. Just a typical basement, like any other. Yeah, they're pretty big. Nothing pretty specific to point out. I need to see. All right, let's head back upstairs, because we still have one floor to go. That's the upstairs level. Let's go. Let's head upstairs and do the last floor. Well, at least we think it's the last floor. Wow. Oh my gosh. We haven't even seen this floor yet and it's amazing. Wow. Crazy collection. All those moves over here. Wow. That's a very big collection, right? And everything turns out to be from, have been from German people. They were doing horse competitions as well, I believe. Well, there you go. Oh, a photo of the couple. <laughs> Maybe the man or the woman was German and the other person was French. French and that's how they got here. And look at this old letter, it looks like. Put the stamp on it. Isn't there a year on the top? No way. 1821. Yeah. This is a letter from 1821. That's history, man. Yeah? That's honestly real history. Wow. It's like a testament that they wrote down. I already saw it and I thought, this is something special. And over here we have the name again of the family. Benesto. Benesto. Okay. All right. All right, yeah, that's, that's German, French. Yeah, more French. Mm. More books inside of here. They also loved listening to classical music, apparently. Yeah. 
Ja. It's due to decay, but I think it's the original design. Yeah, yeah, it's just a map for something to put it inside. Just more books over here. I, I know this room, man. Oh, wow. There are even more legs over there. We already found the protease in the basement. There is way more, and look at this. It's a bedroom. And there are so many details. I think this was actually the room of a child. Yeah, it looks like what do you think the child had? had no legs. No, but I think they just placed it there. Who knows, maybe a photographer or anybody. Look at that. Old frames over here. It's so crazy, man. Binoculars. Broken. Also, ink blotter to erase the ink. No legs on the ground over here. Yeah. That's crazy. And what is this? Yeah, that's what I was the old lady. We are probably keeping sides. Okay. Look at that. Even a marriage picture over there. Right over here. But I honestly was amazed about this thing because I never saw something like this. What is this? I don't know. It, it also says something with the Eiffel Tower over there. Electrotherapy. I think it's what it says. It does something. With those patches over here, probably. Hmm. I don't know, I think it was a therapy or something that they used. It's very strange, man. Very primitive. <laughs> yeah. Then inside of there they actually have a sink and a lot of stuff for grooming and also, also cleaning it seems. Yeah, it's just a typical bathroom but we of course only need to wash ourselves in the bathroom. Also here look. Yeah, there was definitely a disabled person living in here. Yep. One That's one person. thing for sure. Somebody probably without legs. Yep. It's a crazy fact. And they are very old fashioned too. Yeah, they are. You won't see them like that anymore nowadays. Nowadays you have modern blades and everything. Okay. All right, and then we continue. So let's make our way to this room. It's another bedroom that's completely frozen in time. Look at that. Everything is left behind. The sunlight is beautifully falling through the windows. This little porcelain figurine over here and still some perfume on the nightstand. I think this was a girl's bathroom, do you think so? Yeah, maybe, or from a woman. I don't know. It has to do something with air. These are very old. Maybe an old pump or something. Yeah. I think the air was inside of this part and then you could pump something. Wow. Where is something written in German? The memory from luck remains as beautiful as I don't want the last word, gegen what? No, me neither. I'm sorry. Our German is good, but not this. You also look at the ceiling. Crazy, huh? Everything made out of wood. Then the fake flowers over here. We 
if there's a little medallion over here. Rosenheim is written on it. Maybe a family name or something, I don't know. A little bed room over here. But the stuff's like all over the place. Yeah. Unbelievable. At the same time, everything is just eerily left behind. Yeah. There's actually a beautiful bed to mention. Everything is embroidered on it. Also on top. Yeah. Look at the design. It's a headboard. Some fake sunflowers over there as well. It's pretty colorish in here. Well, yeah. I think that was a toy. <laughs> yeah. A sex toy. Definitely a warmest room. Oh, that's not uh, work anymore. Here, Christian Dior. And then over here you had another door that used to be a walk in closet. Yeah. This is also embroidered. Yep, also embroidered art. And it's crazy to see that the room looks so pristine, but over there you can see there's black molds just on the walls. Coming through, man. The black mold is uh, winning the battle. Another bedroom bits again. Again, we have leprotes over here on the ground. Damn. I'm starting to think, were they really from the people that lived there, or did they maybe manufacture those things, given there are so many? I honestly don't know what there are. Well, maybe so they many had to change time. them every few years or something. Could be the case. Could but be why the case. did they never get rid of them and collect them in that way? Yeah, we have a lot of films and movies, and they were mostly about Second World War, 1945. Damn. Oh, there it says Weihnacht, that means Christmas. Probably Christmas movies, or maybe even Christmas memories from the family are still on there. Again, some light noise. This was that from the man's room. I think maybe even the master bedroom we can say. Yeah. What's inside of here? Nothing. What is this? What? There's a brick with a note on it. A lot of clothes still inside the wardrobe. And again, legs on the side. There. Just one or two. Yeah? Mm. Oh yeah. Even more legs. Why are there so many micro days inside this home? It's fairly strange. Yeah, it is. It is very strange, man. But definitely tells something about the man. So it. many clothes also still hanging up here. Where does it lead to over here? I know the bathroom. Like a bathroom. Have a look yourself. Oh yeah. This is definitely the biggest one, so I think this was definitely the master bathroom where we just came from. Yeah. It's a big property exam. Everything is still standing there. Everything that they use for washing. Early. The bathtub is very dirty, full of debris. Wow. <laughs> I'm not gonna show that. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely not too. So what else can we show now? Is there anything, is there anything else on this floor? I don't know if there is another room. Let's have a look. There's still calendars over here from 1968 and everything. And look at that. A poster with dogs, so they definitely love dogs. Mm -hmm. What is that? No clue. It's a yep. Oh, you could actually collect those stickers with the toes. French chateaus and everything, yeah. Maybe they once all visited them. Don't you think so? Yeah, maybe. Puzzle over here. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. The data recorder. Just a simple record player, I think. Well, they're all bits in German. 100%. Or Austria. Or Austria, or Austria yeah. Austria. You can tell the way the man was dressed on the right side. Is a typical German style. Nowhere is really a harmony before me. Yeah. Well, I think overall it's just books and toys, honestly. Yeah. Let's see if we. I believe we could even go one more level up, right? Yeah. Four mirrors in another bathroom. It's a pink one. There are pretty many. Bathrooms in this place. We already found three, right? Yeah. This one is dirty, it's full of dead flies and everything. Yeah. You can tell that this place is like blah, neglecting. Cool. It's in a very bad state, honestly. It's uh, uh, a tripod. No, no, no. no. Like to, you know, you roll oh, out. Oh, it's like a projector screen. Yeah, like a projector screen, exactly, exactly. All right. So maybe the man was a teacher. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we did find something in the downstairs that the person actually reached an age of 104 years old before passing away. So maybe on these projector screens we saw movies at 9.45. He has movies of like his battle and he was the one that lost his legs during war. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? A lot. Different things are possible. I'm really curious where those stairs of where are leading to. Oh, what we're on the fire there. Where's the one is this? You see this is from somebody else, I believe somebody that fought in war. Died in 1949 at the age of 75 years old. It's the same plate as we found downstairs from somebody else. Yeah, exactly. So the people are probably involved in war. I think uh, we gotta end the video right away, man. <laughs> we thought we could still enter this floor, but apparently there is no way. Can we also lift it up? 
it's something that's like pushing back. You see? Mm-hmm. Start. Start. Right. Start. Now we explored this other wonderful chateau of French lands. Yeah, and it's all and I need to say it's a very cool place. Honestly, with all these legs. I never found something like that. Really. Yeah, I only found it one time and that were only two, like one pair of legs, but Exactly. We found like five to six to seven pairs of leg protheses. Mm. Makes you wonder why they own so many. And I think, the thing to conclude about this, uh, about this place is that the man definitely lost his legs during war, both of his legs. So, many respects to him. Honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Due to him, we are still enjoying life in Norway. Not as sad. The people back then, they had to fight for their lives. So a life of peace. A life of peace, man. And then as you see, your place just gets neglected after all those years of duty and war. Life is unfair sometimes, honestly. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, we were very thankful that we could see and explore this mansion today. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah, man. And if you did, Raymond will tell you what the drill is. You know it. Like, subscribe, comment right down below. Ring down, fish button, right up there. And then... We will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.